You see me sitting here in front of the posters, and that means it's time for another Loot Crate unboxing. It's March. March's crate theme was covert. There's a bunch of stuff in there about spies and covert operations. So let's get into it. Here is my crate right here in front of me. I have opened this up already. Now you remember last month the theme was play and I was very unimpressed. This crate I really, really like. Okay, so let's open it up. First thing in there is something that was not in there last month. That is a shirt and that shirt has a little, little babby James Bond on it. I don't know if you can read that, but it says, this is Stir. He's got his little martini there that is unfortunately not shaken the way that he normally prefers. I like that. I actually think that is bloody hilarious. Next is Spy Mad Libs. When I was a kid, my sister and my cousin and I would do Mad Libs all the time in the car going to be, and we tried to make them as immature as possible, so we used a lot of bathroom humor. There's some pretty, pretty awful ones that we came up with, but I like Mad Libs, so this will be fun. Next, I'll show you the Stealth Wristwatch. It looks like it's just a black band, but you press the t thing there and it displays the times. I actually, I don't wear watches, but I like that one, so I probably will wear it. Next piece is a Loot Crate exclusive. You can see the, the logo right there, the Loot Crate logo. Paracord bracelet. It's apparently really, really useful because it, this can be unraveled and used for all sorts of things. Not quite sure what they are, but I like the way it looks. It's, it's kind of Halloween-y, so I like that. So there was something, they said that there was gonna be an exclusive Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. piece, which is right here. I actually really, I love the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think it's a fantastic show. If you're into the Marvel Universe at all, it's really, really good. And it's the jumping off point for Inhumans, which is really, really great. So let's see what this is. This I have not opened up, so I don't quite know what it is. I did look through the little book and it said something about it being a pass card or something like that, that you can wear on this little lanyard deal that they sent also. I was wondering what that was for. This is something from EFX Collectibles and it is a Loot Crate exclusive. This is actually an authentic prop replica. These, this is a replica of the badge that the Koenig brothers, played by Patton Oswalt, give to the other agents toward the end of the first season and in the second season as their passes to enter the Secret Shield bases after Hydra took over. I like that, that actually makes me really happy. So there's also a free download of a comic, Ninjak number one, which I've never heard of, but I might have to check out, I do like comics. I don't read nearly enough of them, so I'll have to look that up. Sounds like it could be interesting. Could also be a train wreck, but I'll give it a shot, see what I think since it is free. I love notebooks. I love having something to write in. So these right here, these are um, field notes notebooks, but these are Loot Crate exclusive. One of them is a memo book with grids drawn in there for like mapping out things, drawing things to scale. And the other one is just regular rule. So these are cool and they're small enough that I can um, take them with me most places if I have things I need to write down. And they came wrapped in this this nifty difty sanitized for your protection band. I like that. Also, uh, Loot Crate official member looter ID card. I didn't see that before. I'm thinking this is something just for the covert crate. So this right here, this is, these are directions for the, the paracord bracelet, things to to do with it, how to unwrap it, and what you should do. So that'll that'll help if I actually try to use that. As always, there's a little book just describing everything. There's some, some articles in there just about different covert operations, spies in gaming culture, comics, movies, that sort of thing. That, that'll be an interesting read. Um, last two things that came in here this month. Usually, a lot of times, Loot Crate does try to do an exclusive comic book. And this month they did Orphan Black, which is a wonderful, wonderful show that you should totally watch. Um, Tatiana Maslany plays like 18 different characters. Sometimes she plays those characters pretending to be another one of the characters. She's a phenomenal actress, and the story is really interesting. I'm excited to read this. You should definitely watch the show and enjoy that. So the last thing, last month I said I didn't get a pin, so it just took, it took one email to Loot Crate and two days for shipping, and they sent me out another. But this month I actually got the pin in my so this is March's pin for Covert. I am going to get 
a bulletin board to hang these all on, like that app on Facebook a few years ago, Pieces of Flare. The pin actually makes me really happy. I didn't think that would be one of my favorite parts of the crate, but I love the pins. So the inside, it's meant to be like a little computer. So I guess you set it up like this, or yeah, like that. You've got your keyboard right here and there's your computer screen. So you can be like, oh, la-di-da, cardboard. So that was March's Loot Crate. Theme was covert. I really, really like this crate. Definitely gonna be doing this again into April. So good job, Loot Crate. To everybody else, thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.